Alright, it's Justin here again. Uh, this time, something a little different. Uh, seem to be doing a lot of that lately. Um, I wanted to pick up and review the, um, the Gunpla Builders uh, weapon sets. And um, what these are, are basically 1 to 144 scale weapon packs for your Gundam kits. And you know it's it's no really not much more than that um there is a little neat twist to it i suppose but we'll get to that in a minute um what you get in each pack is kind of geared towards um two specific weapons each so this one being uh builder or weapon set weapon system rather one you get pieces for let me a beam gatling gun and the zaku machine gun which are pretty standard and you'll get pieces to mix and match and customize each one and that's what we'll be getting to in a bit um and then these also include let me get this back where it was these also include these little pieces here for um if you have the um, the Gundam hangers. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to snap this together real quick. It's pretty straightforward. You have to cut these off runners just like you would a normal kit. Um, you know, and, and it's pretty simple construction. You snap these two pieces together to build the wall. And, um, you plug this into here. You plug these two things into the top here. Uh, I don't think it really... I guess it does matter. Um, and then you build these little... These little arms. And you plug those in right here. Somehow. There we go. And that's that's really all that uh, that entails to build your uh, your weapon holder or uh, you know rack. So let me snap these last two on here, and we'll carry on with this. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, um, the first thing I noticed when I opened these up was um, the quality of the weapons is a little different than what you're going to see in a standard kit. So, if I can zoom in on on this on this guy, I'm so bad at this. I guess yeah, that'll. That'll work. Um, you know, there's there's not a whole bunch more, but there's a little bit more detail tucked into here. Um, and there's actual um, like decals printed or pre-painted on the weapons, so you get little warning markings right here. Um, these little bolts here. There's there's just more detail scribed into the the actual gun so it's not like I said it's not a whole bunch more but it's more um, just like the real grades and high grades well the newer high grades and um, I guess I don't know if the the HG's have it but the bullets are are in the barrel of the, the Zaku gun and that fits on just like it normally would and um, the two weapons in this set are the the beam gatling gun, uh, which I assume that what they're trying to do with these packs is represent each side of most of the Gundam uh, storylines. So in this case, it would be the EFSF and the Zeon side. So you've got your Zeon weapon and you've got your EFSF weapon. 
and um, I think that's really neat because it kind of opens things up for everybody. But um, you know, it's it's not like nobody's never you know ever stuck to just their size weapon. I'm sure you know, and at least once in every storyline, um, you know, somebody's picked up a, an enemy weapon and tried to use it, so, um, that doesn't really matter, that's all up to you anyway. Um, so these are, these are really neat for, uh, just kind of upgrading your, your parts, or your detailed parts, like, I think these are, are really, like this Zaku machine gun, for example, if you just wanted a Zaku machine gun, this would be great for, like, a real grade kit, something like that. Um... I've never actually seen the the beam Zaku, or the, the the beam Zaku that doesn't make sense. Uh the beam Gatling gun. So I don't know what that's from or whatever, but it's a really cool weapon to say the least. Now, um with the rest of this, you are going to get enough pieces for this set anyway to build one more gun and I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. This is another variant of the the Gatling gun. You take your, your other handle, you take your other ammo drum, plug that in right here. Um, and then you take your, your other barrel, which is just a short barrel. It's, it's the same construction, the same barrel basically as this one. And even if you wanted to, you could unplug all this stuff from here. And you can use the long barrel if you want. So there's those. They're, like I just said, they're literally the exact same barrel. Just one short, one's long. So, you can take whichever barrel you want. I'm going to use the long barrel because I feel like it's more appropriate for this. You plug this little handle into it. And you plug it in. And you have a Gatling gun. Very nice. And for demonstration purposes, I have taken out my um, HG uh, Jesta, which I love. Another thing these sets include are, um, you get a set of hands for each side, so you get a trigger finger and, a, and a, an open fist, um, you know, one left hand, one right hand accordingly, and you just go ahead and snap these right together like you normally would when building a kit, and I'll pop these off and go ahead and peg that in the, here and then my Jesta will be able to wield this awesome Gatling gun which uh, just going off the looks of the Jesta itself probably not what it would be wielding but it doesn't make it any less cool so Oh, I forgot another piece. <laughs> um, I think. Yeah, I think these plug into here somehow. I did forget a piece. Where did that go? Oh, this is this is something else. We're gonna be getting stuff mixed up. But there we go. Now the Justa is wielding a um a Gatling gun, and it it doesn't look the greatest, but it definitely looks, you know, a little, it's different than, than what you normally see him wielding. He's got that, uh, like an assault rifle, but it fits nicely in his hands, and, you know, he's very nice and poseable anyway, but, you know, you can get an idea as to, as to what you're going to get straight out of the box anyway. Um... I really like that. That looks really cool. Um, then there's there's a couple other configurations and there's some more pieces. So another one of the things you're going to get is going to be this weird little camera. Uh, it's like a camera and, and a handle grip or whatever. Excuse me. And you go ahead and you plug your barrel into this. Again, this this is probably more suited toward the large barrel, but 
it doesn't really matter, I don't think. I think they're, they both fit, yeah, they, they're both the same connector piece. It's just a matter of preference, really. And you plug your handle into this, or into a barrel, an ammo barrel. I don't know what that is. Um, oh, Jesus. Okay. Um, <laughs> stuff only happens when I'm, when I'm recording. Um, but you plug that into there, and then it'll give you two little tripod stands, so you can have the, uh, the open one, so you can sit your weapon down, and you can actually lay your, your kit down like it's in a prone position firing, or um, you can have the closed stand, and that just pops right off, and you plug that one in and you've got it standing so any way that you want to use this thing you can go ahead and do and like I said these are all mix and matchable I don't know about mixing the like I don't think you could mix and match parts from the the beam gatling gun with the zaku gun but I don't see why you wouldn't be able to try and if if it doesn't work well then I guess it just doesn't work um, with the zaku gun you can pull the barrel off or the the, the tip. I don't think that's the barrel. The, the muzzle. Um, then you can pull the barrel off and there's a second barrel you get and you just slide that on there. The right way. This whole thing's coming apart. It's probably better to do this in sections like to pop a piece or two off and and get the ones that you want situated before you start mixing and matching but um, I don't think it really matters too much so pop this barrel off and I don't think you need the scope whatever um, and then I can I can switch the entire like body of the gun, stick that on here, and I can mount a grenade launcher to the front of my Zaku machine gun, and then I clip another little handle on here. That definitely didn't go in as well as I thought it would. Um, and then uh, you get an extra stock, which is really cool. It's very nicely detailed. Um, you know, it's got a lot of ridges and stuff. You don't normally see stuff like that on on Gundam kits. Usually, it's just a flat, a flat piece. Not a lot of detail would be carved into that. So. If anything, these are really nicely detailed kits, or part packs, I should say. And, once you get all your pieces together, here's your, your new and improved Zaku machine gun um, with the grenade launcher attachment. It's got a handle, it's got a scope, it's got an improved stock, it's got a bigger barrel, so it's probably a rifle. Or, you know, I don't think that really matters, but... You know, these are really cool for kind of customizing your own thing, and they don't look they don't look too bad out of the box. Um, another thing of note is this feels like a different type of plastic than Bandai uses with the model kits. It feels a little bit thicker, feels a little bit heavier, um, which isn't really a problem. Um, I don't think it would be an issue. I mean, it's not an issue personally. Um, but these could come across as a bit plain if you're just going to take them out of the box and put them on your kits so I, I would probably recommend painting them if you were going to do anything you know serious customization and stuff like that but um, that's probably what you're into anyway if you're going to buy these kind of things and if you wanted to customize your kits this much or to this degree anyway um, you know you probably 